Hello there, my name is Naeem from PowerPoint Crafts. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make this beautiful 5 step process and animate it. Please watch full video to learn all the steps and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I have already opened a new page in PowerPoint and selecting the rectangle shape and drawing it here and let's size it I will just size it 2.1 and 3.31 just zooming in and selecting no outline and selecting right triangle drawing it here exactly on the shape and uh, just rotate the sh rotate the angle and fill the black color for time being and select no outline stretch it a little bit and make sure the bottom corner of right triangle is meeting the uh, rectangle shape and just dragging it from the top corner and made another uh, copy of this and pasting it on the right side so exactly we need this blue shape let's select all of these shapes one by one and go to format and fragment and now we have this shape this is what we need for our five step process so I'm drawing another rectangle shape which will be stretched to the full slide and the height that I'm going to select is 1.42 and just dragging it down and select no outline and send to back select both of the shapes go to align and align to middle now I am taking this uh, rectangle shape and just zooming it and I just want to uh, have a perfect shape which will fit here inside that will make a kind of shadow for us I just remove the outline if you can see this yellow dot you can adjust it uh, with this and you can get your desired shape make sure it is well aligned so you don't get the white space or white color from here now we have this first kind of a triangle with this uh, uh, not a triangle I'm sorry it's a first rectangle with triangle so pasting another making a duplicate copy another duplicate and we need five so we'll make two more perfect we have now five rectangle shapes let's drag this make a duplicate copy rotate it and assemble it exactly that it aligns with rectangle shape we'll make another copy and we'll do with the, all of these five shapes great now let's uh, group all to all one by one and with control G select all and control G So let's select all of these shapes go to format and select distribute horizontally now we have an equal space between all of these rectangle shapes now which are in black color I'm using my keyboard arrow keys to just centralize it 
and ungrouping all so we will now uh, fill the colors selecting this eyedropper and I have some placed some colors over there so to make this tutorial quick and fast and I'm selecting and filling the colors in all of these rectangle shapes will do different colors you can change colors as per your preferences this is what I have used based on my preferences so you can choose any color which uh, is the best fit with your theme or your liking Now we have filled colors in all of uh, these shapes. I have selected format shapes after selecting this rectangle. I'm just trying to fill a different color so we can see like uh, uh, what is the best fit. So you can try a, try different uh, colors if you want or you can make it a, a simple here. I, I will just make it a kind of a, a cylinder type color. You can see setting here. I've chosen the uh, darker color on the left and right and a lighter color in the middle as this looks uh, beautiful to me uh, you can play around with uh, with this let's select all of these shape and push it a little bit toward up so we can have a little bit more space uh, down there now we will add text into these boxes let's select a text box here I'm just write the information I'm just writing whatever is here in my mind you can change it as per your need just rotate it and see if it is fitting well in this uh, shape and adjust it a little, little bit so dragging it and making another duplicate and just writing another text here and doing the same thing here and just adding text to this bow strip again and making another duplicate perfect so just see if there is a minor adjustment needed here now we will move to animation let's open animation pane select this triangle and select wipe and direction toward down and change it with after previous select this shape select animation wipe animation direction is ok select after previous and select this text wipe animation direction is ok and select with previous and select this uh, uh, triangle wipe animation change the direction toward down and change it after previous so repeat the same step for all of these here is a small trick that you need to select the text and you need to change it with previous so your text should appear with the animation which is in the middle let's repeat the same for all of these let's change the direction to a down and after previous perfect so we'll select the text again and select the animation and should play with 
change the direction perfect and don't forget to change with previous and let's play and see how it look like perfect that's looking great let's let's start the middle ones which is the pink one we will do the same thing Great, so we have completed it. Let's have a look how it look like. This is the first step. Great. And this is the second step. Perfect. That's looking amazing. If you want to change a little bit the setting, the speed or delay, you can go ahead and, and try different formats and let me uh, add a little bit more boxes that we can add some more text if you wish to use only these five steps you can use this only five steps or you, if you wish to add some more text you can add more text i'll show you how we can add more text boxes here and just uh, i'm going to make it similar similar color colors that we have it uh, in the upper section let's select eyedropper and use the same color perfect so we will make these boxes for all of these processes i'm just making duplicate and we will change the colors of all of these boxes as per their above colors just adjusting a little bit to the center of the above information that we have in the process let's select the same color and do the same thing For the next box great we also will change the outline color as well to the same perfect we don't need to uh, yeah. we'll just close the animation pane and just opening the uh, formatting going into outline and just select this this inside shade and I will make the blur a little bit more to give a kind of a, a 3d effect and I'll choose a different color to make it a little bit lighter and I will do the same thing here and I'll select the same and I'll increase the blur so it will give us a little bit more and changing the color the darker color slightly uh, lighter than black one do the same thing with the green box and repeat the same with the blue Uh, it's not uh, yep perfect do the same thing with this purple one great so let's select a text box and add write some text here
and just copy paste the same text boxes in all of these colorful boxes and decentralize it perfect let's group it together So we can also add animation to these boxes. Let's let this fly in animation and play after previous. You can change and you can select with previous and repeat the same with all of these five boxes. Maybe here you can also uh, increase the timing and you can see what best uh, so it's for you Let's add the heading of this process It's five step process let's increase the size perfect we don't need these colors we have already used just let's remove it and now it's a time to just have a look perfect amazing great and uh, now now we can change the background color to see that uh, to make it more attractive and I tried it before so that's why I have these colors now you can try different colors or uh, you know different combinations but let me try this gray combination uh, it's more darker it's it's not uh, the best I think let me make it a little bit lighter yeah and on the right side lighter as well let's go to animation and do the animation for for the main heading uh, let me see which animation we can take uh, let's say we select fly in but we'll change the direction from maybe from the left side perfect and now what we need to do we want this animation to appear as the first thing when we when we play this animation and we want to play with previous Now if you have noticed that we haven't animated this cylinder or kind of rectangle and let's do it with the split and it should play with previous let's open the animation pane and we have this at the end let's drag it to the top so we can have it on the top playing together with the main heading perfect let's have a look in a full screen great uh, please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you so much